Hey guys, Erica and Angie with Gateway to Air Guns, and this grip review is all about quieting down your air guns with the zero dB moderators. Before we get started guys, this video is brought to you by Air Guns of Arizona. If you're looking for any high-end air guns or accessories, go to www.airgunsofarizona.com. Also, if you guys are a dealer and you're interested in offering retail suppressors for your air gun customers, go check out Precision Air Gun Distribution at www.precisionairgun.com. I'm going to be doing the testing today of the 0 dB um, silencer moderators on my Air Venturi Avenger. This is a 25 caliber and I have three different um, zero dBs. These moderators are designed to reduce the, the air blast and the report of the air gun. Okay, so the zero dB silencers, they come in different sizes, different colors. Um, we have the 110C, I have the Tactical, and I have the Magnum 40. They also come in black, red, blue, and Cerakote in tan. Um, they come in 177, 22, 25, and 30 calibers. So you have a few different options there. Th what we're gonna test it on today is my Avenger, my Air Venturi Avenger 25. For more information on these products, check out the links in the description. So I placed my target at 45 yards and I plan to shoot one five shot group. I'm gonna check the velocity, check the accuracy, and of course the DB meter at the muzzle and then 25 yards from the target. So first off guys, I'm gonna shoot the Air Venturi stock, no moderator on it. With no moderator at the muzzle, I was getting a DB reading between 100 and 102, and then at 25 yards around 97. The Air Venturi Avenger is not really a quiet gun. Before purchasing a moderator, make sure it will fit your air gun. If it is not one half UNF, you may need this Donny FL adapter that I'll be using on my Avenger. Okay guys, so I made a big oops. The 110C moderator is purposed for a 22 caliber air rifle in 177. I used it on the 25, yes. I got lucky, I had no issues with clipping, and the moderator is just fine. But I do not recommend that. Be sure to pay attention. Use the proper caliber on the proper gun. But here's the target, here's the footage. Now let's put the tactical on it. The tactical moderator is 6.7 inches long and it weighs five ounces. Now the reading at the muzzle, I got 94 to about 96. And then at 25 yards downrange, about 86. So there was definitely a difference. Notice guys, the accuracy is still good, but the POI has dropped about an inch. But that's really not a big deal. All you have to do is adjust your optic. Let's see if it does the same thing for the Magnum 40. So the Magnum 40 is a bit larger both in length and diameter. It is 7.6 inches long and weighs 7.4 ounces. The reading at the muzzle is 82 to 86, and the reading at 25 yards, this was a little odd to me, but I got pretty much the same reading, 86. It definitely quieted it down the most. The POI is the same as the tactical as well, but I got the best group with this one. Check that out. I do have one thing to point out with this one. Because the fill port is directly under the barrel and this moderator is larger in diameter, in order to fill the Avenger, you must remove the zero dB. A bit of a pain. 
but there's other options that don't require this step. Okay, so questions that I would like to answer. Um, did the Zero DB do what it is designed to do? Quiet down the report of the air gun and reduce the air blast. Well, the results are right there, guys. It went from 102 DB at the muzzle down to 86 at the muzzle. I would say the Magnum 40 actually did it the best with a DB reading at the muzzle of 86, though there was the issue with the fill port. The tactical wasn't bad either. It dropped it down to about 96 as well at the muzzle. So from 102 down to 96. That's, it doesn't sound like much, but we're talking about decibels, guys. So it really is a lot. The accuracy is still great, guys, with both the moderators and, of course, without it, the Avenger has always been a very accurate air gun. Um, the moderators did not change the accuracy at all. It only changed the point of impact. So just an adjust, adjustment to your optic and you're good to go. As far as velocity, without the 0 dB, I was getting 893 feet per second. With the tactical, 893 feet per second. That's the average, guys. And with the Magnum 40, I got 886, which dropped a little bit, but it's really not enough to cause any kind of concern. The only con that I find about this was the Magnum 40. You can't really, you have to remove it in order to fill your um, Avenger. It may be different on different, I mean, not all guns have the fill port under the barrel. Some of them are on the side, so it may work just fine on a different air gun. But as far as the Avenger with the fill port right there, you must remove the moderator to fill the gun. If you guys want to find out more about these, don't forget to stop by www.airgunsofarizona.com. Well guys, I guess that's it for today. If you guys don't have an appetite for a quieter air gun, maybe this isn't your thing. Please be sure to check out my next grip review that may improve your shooting experience in a little bit of a different way. Really quick, I wanna say thank you to Gateway to Air Guns for making this video possible. Go check them out guys, www.gatewaytoairguns.org www.gatewaytoairguns.org. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm Airgun Angie with Gateway to Air Guns. Y'all don't have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. Some retail suppressed.